Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, in this video, what I want to do is um, I want to run through um, cleaning of a k and air filter. Now, I recently picked this one up um, off a of, uh, Facebook forum, the VFR Facebook forum, um, from a chap who I believe actually is a subscriber to my channel. Um, and what he did was he um, bought a power flow filter for his VFR. Um, and when he opened up the airbox, lifted, took, obviously opened up the tank, took the uh, lid off the airbox and found this K&N in it. Um, so uh, what he did was he, he came onto the forum and offered this one for sale at a re really reasonable price um, and, and sent it to me. So uh, yeah, naturally, uh, what I want to do though is um, give it a good clean, um, ready to go into my bike. So what I'm going to do is uh, open up the package that he uh, sent, he wrapped it really well, and uh, have a look at what we got. Okay, so yeah, it's not it's not terrible. There's a few bits and pieces inside the pleats um, that obviously need uh, cleaning out. Um, this is obviously the, the clean side of the filter. And as you can see, it looks, as I said, quite clean. So what we need to do is uh, we need to give it a good clean. And I've got a K&N um, filter cleaning kit, which obviously um, it's a two part kit. Uh, let's open this, this bad boy up and uh, have a look at it. So there should be a bottle of um, cleaner, which is what that one is, and then a bottle of filter oil. So K&N air filters basically work um, by uh, capturing particles using oil. Um, the, uh, the gauze itself is quite, quite open. You can, you can actually almost see through it. So adding the oil is what actually um, does the filtration. Um, so what I'm going to do is give it a spray with a cleaner all over. Get it well in there. Do it on both sides. Right, that'll probably be enough. Right then, what I need to do now is um, give it a good rinse under the tap. Um, just under clean water, and what we'll do in is um, shift in all the dirt out of the pleats um, and down the, down the plug hole. So I'll, uh, I'll let the cleaner soak in for a few minutes, and then uh, what we'll do is we'll go over to the sink and uh, give it a good wash. Right then, next stage, um, obviously using clean water straight from the tap, we can, um, we can clean out all the, all the rubbish that's uh, been collected by this filter. Obviously, what I recommend you do is uh, get permission from the missus. Uh, the last thing uh, you want to do is come along, find you uh, cleaning your air filter in the kitchen sink. Um, you know you're going to be on enforced celibacy, so make sure you ask permission first. Right then, just using clean water, give it a good... Give it a good wash. Making sure all the pleats get opened up. And any dead flies and bits and pieces are all ejected. Takes a little while, but be thorough, be thorough now, and then uh, and then quick rinse from this side. This is obviously the clean side. So what we're doing here, by going from the clean side to the dirty side, is any dirt that's 
you know, still in there, hopefully, should be pushed out from here. And I'm giving it a bend, so I'm opening up the pleats on that side. Nice and thorough. Now, this is, um, this is a, basically the process that you do every time you would change your air filter. Okay, I reckon we're about there. Now, as you can see, it's gone like a, the, the pleats have gone a lot paler because there's no oil left on them. What the, uh, what the cleaner does, it's a solvent that helps the, remove the, the old oil. Um, and you can see they've got a bit more, they've got a bit of a gray color to them. Whereas when they're brand new, they've got like a red tinge because the red tinge is in fact the oil. So yeah, I'm, uh, it looks pretty clean. I can't see anything, I can't see anything else in between all the plates. It all looks, all looks really good. Yeah, I can't see anything in there at all. I'm actually completely satisfied that that is nice that that is nice and clean. So, all I need to do now is I need to put it somewhere nice and not somewhere nice and sunny. Put it somewhere in the sun. In the sun. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it um, sat in the conservatory, and um, I'll probably come back to it tomorrow. What you need to do is this needs to be 100% dry. Um, you don't want any damp in there whatsoever. So, give it um, give it a good. A good amount of time to dry out fully and then uh, yeah what I'll do when it when it's dry we'll we'll come back to it and then we'll look at the oiling process right then guys okay so it's now the next day um, this filter has been sat in my conservatory for the best part of about 15 16 hours um, and it's now bone dry it's been sat in there a nice warm nice warm conservatory it's all dry there's no dirt left in between any of the plates and no traces of any water under no circumstances re-oil this while it's wet um it, it's just not gonna it's just not gonna um operate in the manner in which it's intended okay then what we need to do next is take our bottle of oil out of our package and what we need to do is apply oil to to the filter but you apply it by simply applying it across the top of each, the crown of each pleat and what will happen is the oil itself will wick down into the gauze. Do not overdo it um, because all that will happen is you'll end up with oil pooling inside your airbox and that won't be good. So what we need to do is applying it across the top of each pleat just like so. all the way along as you can see as I uh, as I apply it, it's being wicked into the gauze. I'm not applying too much. I'm just just a little dribble all the way along. Just an even covering is what we're after. Um, if when we've uh, completely oiled the filter, there are any areas of it that aren't red, effectively, then what we'll do is you can go back and just touch them up just to give it a uniform coat of oil And there we are, that's the whole of that side done. And as you can see, it goes a nice shade of pink. And then what we need to do is exactly the same. 
on this side. There's plenty of oil in this bottle to probably do four or five filters, to be honest. There's, uh, you, don't, you don't need to use too much. Okay, that is the whole filter oiled. Yeah, and as you can see, it's got this nice pink, pink color to it, and it looks pretty much brand new again. Okay, that is literally it. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna leave that just to sit all the oil will soak into the gauze and then it'll uh, it'll be good to go um thanks for watching guys and i will see you all of it uh, again very soon in the next video thank you very much bye bye now.